dot, it won't go on their face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the all the um the supermarkets I go to now, they all have that set up. Yep, all to if somebody if somebody sneezes. Yeah, yeah. all too. Because some people who work in supermarkets, they died. They came became sick and died. Yeah. Because supermarket people have to deal with the public every day, most of the time. Yeah. No Easter parade today. Imagine that. <laughs> First time, no Easter parade. Easter parade. Filipina claims she's being discriminated in a New York hospital. It's crazy. Let's, this girl made a video. She's speaking in Tagal, the language of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. She said she's in, in a New York hospital and there's discrimination against Asians. <laughs> I kind of find that hard to believe. So I made a video on that. I put, a, uh, I put together a video earlier today because I said, first of all, in New York, you got lots of Filipino nurses, you know, from what I know. I went in different facilities, and just about all of them got nurses who came from the Philippines, you know. So if you're sick in the hospital, sooner or later, you're going to run into a Filipino nurse. Even if one is not assigned to you, you probably see one and probably could call them over and complain. So I'm, I'm not under... I'm not sure why this woman is making this claim. This claim, and she says she has a fever, 41 Fahrenheit, which is about 105.8 degrees. No, 41 Celsius, 105.8 Fahrenheit. If you have fever like that and it's sustained, you get what they call delirium. You you don't really function well mentally, you, you, your speech is uh, slurred, you sound like you're drunk, you know, <laughs> if you have a fever that high and it remains sustained, you, you'll come off like you're a drunk person, like uh, you're not making sense. And listen to her, she is making sense. I don't, I don't understand why, you know. It just doesn't make any sense. Why? Yeah. Oh my God, people are so crazy. They eat everything. Why? Wow. So 
You could see that if you click on that, you will see the woman in the video that I made that I'm talking about. Well, I know you don't understand her, her language, but basically she's saying that she's being discriminated against. She, she'll be taken into the ICU. She has a fever of 41 Celsius, which is about 105.8 Fahrenheit. Normally fever is like maybe 102, 103. And that's really high, you know, when you have a fever like that. But if you have a hundred, a fever 105, over 105, wow, you're burning up, your brain is gonna start cooking. And she's not shredding. I don't see her shredding in the video. You know, if you have a fever like that, you're supposed to be like wiping, you know, you're supposed to be like this. Like wiping. Oh, no, they eat cat too. What? They eat cat too. Oh. Chinese people eat cat too. Oh my god. They eat everything. Did you click on that link I sent you to see that woman? Not yet. I'm going to. Yeah, of course Chinese eat cats too. Yeah, they eat cats, they eat dogs, they eat bats. That's why, uh, you know, some people find them disgusting. I don't care about them eating the bats, you know. They can eat all the bats they want, but I have a problem with them eating dogs. Or a cat. Yeah, because dogs and cats, come on, you know. And they try to say, well, you know, but people eat beef, like in the Western countries. You eat beef. Yeah, but nobody has a cow as a pet, you know? Nobody brings a cow into their living room in the evening and, and have them sit down, you know, in the living room. A cow is big, but a dog you could. There's no comparison between a cow and a, and a dog. Yeah. Or even a pig. Nobody brings a pig in their living room to sit. <laughs> dog is like you can say come here go 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 <laughs> give me give me her go me go get it no 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 cat is coming meow 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 oh my god i can't be saying that oh shit they do kill dog no. that la that lady in the video do you see her sweating no i'm going to watch it after i finish this huh? let me finish this way they are if you have a fever that high, you're supposed to be shredding, you know? You're supposed to be going like this, wiping your, your forehead if you have a fever. Yeah. Yeah. You aren't supposed to be just talking uh, like you're out of breath, like, okay, you have no accident. You're supposed to be shredding too. Anyone, particularly, one of the 
other sobering things, Dr. Malloy told us, John, was that of all those people in the ICD on ventilators, none of them have yet been successfully taken off a ventilator. She also said that while the situation does appear to be getting a little bit better in the last week or so, there have been times on these shifts where she has run out of oxygen, where they have run out of a certain type of antibiotic, where they have run out of fentanyl, a sedative that's often used uh, before mm -hmm. they intubate a patient, and perhaps most importantly, that it's gone. Larissa, thank you so much. What President Obama said about how coronavirus is affecting the black community, who that? Attention CPAP users, join the Kenya Kibbutz in the reservoir to bring your mask. In Kenya, it can be an expensive, difficult task. And we need to bring these in. So, why can state of health and community is being designed to be affordable, portable CPAP and hand sanitizer? Just press and cleans and automatically cleans, sanitizes, and eliminates 99% of germs and bacteria for camping, service, and for seat. You see that girl? The one from the Philippines? Yeah. Oh my God, she is working hard. Huh? She is working hard. Yeah, that's how I hire the fever. She needs to stay home. Who are you talking what? about need to who are you talking about need to stay home? Why they why she want to work in like that? I'm talking about the, the link that I just sent you there, the link I sent you right now, the link I sent you earlier. Yeah, I see. She said she's in a hospital. What are you talking about? She needs to stay home. I know. It's not easy working in a hospital being a nurse at the moment. What are you talking about? I'm going to play a video here. Very yeah, right here. Off. She's not home. She, she said she's in a hospital going into the ICU. COVID-19. She's obviously Filipina, the language she's speaking, Tagalog. And uh, she doesn't really say what the discrimination is, but she has a temperature of 41 Celsius, which is about 105.8 degrees Fahrenheit. If you really have a temperature like that, you, you go into like a seizure, like, you know, somebody has epilepsy. You seize up. You're not really functioning anymore. You become, you get like delirious.